On November 19th, 2006, Nintendo released Wii Sports alongside the Wii. It was a free pack-in game that cost you nothing. That being the case, it instantly became one of the best-selling games of all time. Because, by default, you, you just kind of got it. <laughs> Although, even though it may have accidentally achieved that title, it was deserving of the title. A fantastic collection of mini games that not only showcased what the Wii was capable of, but it was actually super fun. I dare you to find a kid, middle-aged man, or a grandma living in the early 2000s that did not love the heck out of some Wii tennis. Fast forward to 2017, Nintendo released the Switch without any kind of Nintendo Switch sports. And then for some reason, a good five years later, we sit here and Nintendo decides to release Nintendo Switch sports. But it ain't free this time, no. It's gonna cost you $40 if you buy the digital, or if you go into a game store and find it physical with a leg strap, it's gonna cost you 50. So all these years later, and a full $50 price tag, is Nintendo Switch Sports worth paying for? No. <laughs> I don't, I don't, that's not really what I'm here to answer today. I do think it should have been free when the Switch launched, but that's neither here nor there. I decided to take it one step further. I see a lot of people doing no death run for video games, specifically games like the Soul series and Elden Ring. In fact, PewDiePie just attempted a zero death run on Elden Ring. And for me personally, that seemed just a little too easy. I mean, you are talking about the guy that beat the final Elden Ring boss's first try. Polishing off Elden Ring with no deaths, that's not really, I'm not looking for a casual weekend. I wanted a challenge. And to me, a challenge is defeating Nintendo Switch Sports with zero deaths, or more accurately, zero game overs or zero times failing a sport. To prove how good I am at Nintendo Switch Sports, I am going to, without fail, defeat opponents in each one of these sports that might seem like an easy thing to do but let me tell you a lot of people that play this game are good dang it this is embarrassing this is embarrassing before i got here it would be foolish to go in blind to not practice or you know to get good so i decided to go live on a twitch stream and challenge my buddies wolfden and scoot to see if they could actually beat me at any of these games i figure if they can beat me then i probably have no shot at this challenge and that went like this now i warn you two things one i've been practicing this game for three hours now two I'm not good. Fortnite Fish is a fan of my mom, and I'm poggers at this game already. I haven't touched the game since the demo. Fortnite nice Fish! Fortnite Fish! Fortnite Fish! Fortnite Fish! Fortnite Fish! Let's go! Mega Man, we might only get one game in here. I don't understand this, and I'm trying to figure it out. Yes. You just gotta be right. correct like Woody! Like old <laughs> Woody from Beat em Up! Go fight Bob. Go fight Bob. 2v2? Right, Wood. Let me in. Come on, do the thing. What the? Charge there. Yo, what? Why? Stop. Are you kidding me? What the? <laughs> the same thing. I was... God damn it. <clears throat> So clearly, I was very, very good at the game. I didn't lose at all to either of them. In fact, to prove it, I'll even call them and get their self-testimonies of how good I am. Hello. You remember when we played Nintendo Switch Sports on Twitch and I beat you every single time and I'm undefeated? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. Bye. Okay. Uh, see you later. It's nice that he can admit it, you know? Hello. King. What's up? I know you're very sick right now. Um... <laughs> But can I ask you a quick question? Yeah, of course. You remember when I, when we played Nintendo Switch Sports and I beat like you and Bob like every single time and I'm undefeated? Yeah, of course. That's it. That's all. That's all. Thank you, King. <laughs> okay.
Okay, bye, bud. Bye-bye. It's like, these are what friends are for, you know, to be honest with each other. But I'm, I'm glad we got that clarified. So the stage is set for me to complete this challenge. I throw on a tank top and some shorts because I wanted to show off how pale my legs are. That's right. I'm doing a Nintendo Switch Sports Zero Death Run. I am not going to lose. If I lose, I have to go back to the start and reset. Bowling is gonna be the one <laughs> that ruins this whole thing. This challenge is officially underway. All right, so a couple things you should know about me. I am undefeated in Chambara. Oh, in Badminton? Don't even get me started on Badminton. We'll, we'll whack that one out real quick. Uh, we did not whack that one out real quick. Not at all. This video does not have a sponsor, by the way. So remember, as always, you can go to gfuel.com. I know that's technically a sponsor, but they're not, they're not paying me right now. They just pay me in general. And usually I only talk about them on stream. So if you on in YouTube land want to grab some zero calorie, zero sugar, delicious energy and help support the channel, go to gfuel.com and use code beatemups to grab some delicious G Fuel. I love it. Okay. Oh, sorry, Lav. Oh, actually, Lav is decked out. She has all the accessories from playing the game. This could be bad for me. I don't know why I'm holding two Joy-Cons. I always do that by default. Uh, turns out Lav was very good at badminton. Oh, no, Lav, no. Lav, don't do this to me, Lav. Come on, Lav. Lav did do this to me five times in a row. Dang it! This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. I gotta, I can't, I can't lose another point. This was devastating. It was an immediate setback that I was not prepared for. And I had a bad feeling that it was going to be a very long night. And believe me, the excuses started almost immediately. We're, we're running that back. We're that was, that was an anomaly. I think that was like a dev of the game. That was, I think that was someone at Nintendo. Going into the second attempt, it didn't look good off the bat. Or should I say off the racket? What is happening? What is happening? This was my game. I was shaken. I was stirred. I had not lost in this mini game the entire time I've had the game. I felt like a king and immediately I lose the game and now I'm too nil. However, I think it was just the cameras and the studio lights and the nerves. Cause as soon as I hit that first point, yeah, finally. I mean, that was just nothing one joke could do to stop me. It's no surprise, really. I am actually pretty good at badminton. One game down, four to go. I don't, I don't, I, don't, I get, I'm not a competitive person, but I don't know what it is about Wii Sports and Nintendo Switch Sports that brings out the competitive side of me. Uh, we're gonna move on to <sighs> Chambara. Do not wanna have to go back to Badminton. While I do feel like Badminton is my best game, Chambara has to be a close second. It's all about reading the opponent and just slicing them the same way that their weapon is facing. If you can get good at that, there's really no stopping you. Not worried, not worried. I thought for a second when I saw that they're using a me that I was screwed. Me, more like me gonna beat you. <laughs> that was terrible. Cut that, cut that, cut that. That was a terrible joke and I'm not cutting it to make myself feel bad about myself. Do better, me. I feel bad saying it, but Joshi, you were a very easy opponent yes. and thank you for making this part of the Dude. challenge just that little bit Dude. more simple. Uh, moving on. <laughs> Chambara, badminton, done. Dunzo. Oh, and I just completed that whole page and got a new bonus outfit. Here's where it gets tough. We do have tennis still, but three of these games have a lot of other people to deal with. I'm gonna get volleyball out of the way. Let's just hope and pray I get a good partner. Cause if I get a bad partner and the other two on the other team are good, that really is true with these sport games. I mean, it comes down to who you're playing with. And I knew that this would be a giant caveat in the night. If I got a dud partner or a dud team, it could cost me the entire run and I'd have to start again. Don't give me Jordan. Don't give me Jordan. Don't give me Jordan. Don't give me Jordan. I don't like the look of Jordan. I don't like the way Jordan looks. He spells Jordan with an A. I don't like the way Jordan looks. Bruh. Dang it, Jordan. I, have, I just have a bad feeling about Jordan. Jordan! Jordan, that was pathetic. And right here, I was terrified. Jordan, that was straight to you, Jordan. Jordan, what was that timing, Jordan? 
However, I think Jordan might have been smurfing. Jordan was a complete beast from this moment on. In fact, I barely did anything to help this game. Oh, no. Jordan. Jordan with the block, Jordan. Okay. I'm, I don't have to do anything. Oh, oh I did actually. I was, I was so mesmerized by Jordan. I wasn't paying attention. Jordan, you king. Jordan, you god. I love Jordan. But the real caveat was, tur turns out I didn't get the dud co-op partner. The, the, uh, the other guy did. Mars did. Because Lick Lickers just kept fumbling the ball. <sighs> Is that game? Oh, Jordan, you beautiful man. Honestly, that was all Jordan. That, was, that wasn't even... I barely did anything there. I mean, we, I was on fire and feeling fantastic. On my first, technically second, but on my first attempt at doing this, I had already crushed half of the mini games, and I only had half left. That's, I'm actually doing it. First, this is first try. Let's get soccer out of the way. Soccer's another tough one because you have a whole team to deal with, but I'm actually pretty cracked at soccer, so I'm not too worried about it. I love this screen when everyone's just doing flying headbutts. This whole mini game is so much just a rocket league with humans. Which I guess is just regular soccer. Oh, that's light. If I had stayed over there. Oh. oh, why did I kick that way? There it is. There it is. There it is. After a couple of quick shots on goal, the ball ended up down our end of the field. We, we didn't even have someone watching the goal. And at one point early on, the ball almost just rolled in accidentally. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Oh my God. That was scary. That was scary. And from here, it was literally just me blocking the ball from scoring on our side time after time after time. I mean, I just keep bouncing it back to him. Can one of you kick it a little further down for me? I mean, how, how many blocks do I have to do here? That was the kick. That block right there finally sent the ball down to the other side of the field, opening us up for a chance to score. As the shot clock started to tick down to zero, I realized we were entering overtime. In soccer, the game can just keep going if you're tied in overtime. It goes until someone gets the first goal, which is not the kind of stress or pressure I needed right now. Rob, please, Rob, please, Rob, please, Rob, please, Rob! That would have been the whole challenge. I saw the whole challenge flash, but oh my eyes. After I blocked the ball a couple more times and got a couple more kicks on goal. Yes! Finally. What the heck was that game? I'm literally shaking, dude. Four sports down. Gotta tell you, I do really enjoy this game. My heart was pounding during that match. This is gonna be a rough one. This is gonna be tough. This is all I'm... Oh, I thought tennis was only two players. You're gonna start the game with three players? Who gets the bot? It's really weird to me that out of all these mini games, tennis is one that doesn't seem to care if it loads in enough players for a full game. If you don't know, you can either control both the characters on your side or they can be controlled independently by two different players. I don't know if that's an advantage or a disadvantage because you control both. So somebody was going to have to do the work of two people. What's the bet that somebody will end up being me? It's just me. It's just me against the world. It's just me against the world. It's me against two people. Are you kidding me? That is so unfair. Immediately, the stress got to me and it wasn't looking good. Oh, I thought it was gonna go out. But then, like a sign from above, the other player completely just fumbled the ball. <laughs> It was in this moment that I remembered, hey, I'm actually really good at tennis. Two more and I win against two people. One more. It was quite simple, really. Once I remembered that Bob Wolf from Wolf Den couldn't beat me, Scoot from Scootish couldn't beat me, and really, these two suckers couldn't beat me. Um, it was just a matter of time. Oh, yeah, baby! Uh, this is bananas. This is actually bananas. I, uh, I can't believe this is happening. I thought this would take all night. I, all I have left is bowling. I just have to beat 15 other people at bowling. I need a second. I gotta say, to come this far on my first try, I was excited. 
I was proud and I still am. However, I did make one kind of giant mistake. This is by far the hardest out of all six. The reason why it's so hard is because every other game is competitive to the point where I directly influence the game. Me being better than another player can affect their game. Bowling is bowling. I can only control what's happening in my lane. If someone else bowls a perfect game, which happens, and I don't, which happens, I lose. This is a crapshoot and I need to win. All I gotta do is beat 14 other people in Shelby from Girlfriend Reviews and I've won. How hard can it be? Turns out very. It started off well. And by starting off well, I mean I, 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 got, a, I got a strike. My first bowl was a strike. Shelby from Girlfriend Reviews has also got a strike. Oh, we've got a lot of strikes across the board. Oh, that's not good news. This lobby is cracked. Oh my God. Only two people didn't get a strike or a spare. This is what I'm talking about with bowling. It is the hardest mini game to win in the whole pack. Cause you can't, I can't walk into their lane and kick them in the shins. Literally, if they know how to get a strike every time, I'm screwed because eventually either I'm gonna screw up or the game's weird pin RNG is gonna mess me up. And I'll show you that when we get there. Shelby, 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 stop. Especially with the cool sticker too, just rubbing it in. I'm about to get eliminated. As Shelby from Girlfriend Reviews kept spamming the cool emoji just to taunt me with how well she's doing, I continued to get strikes and spares. It just wasn't enough. You need to get a strike every time. And I wasn't doing that. That one point keep me in. Did that one point? No. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I lost. I lost. I failed. So despite not missing a single pin, I was eliminated in round two. I hate bowling. I, I, I have to start the whole challenge again. Devastated is not even close to what I felt in this moment. I decided to try the run again, but start with bowling this time, because if I can beat bowling, should be good to clear the rest from there. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm like in ranked now? That means all these people are really good. Bruh. I, I hate that. How did that, how I have watched this replay 10 times. How does that one pin remain standing and everything else fall down around it? When the pin is right, right. Uh, I, I, I go to the middle. I go a little bit to the side, and then I kind of curve it a little to the left, and almost every time... I'm gonna shut up. I did worse on every following attempt at bowling than I did on the first try. I got eliminated before the first round. Things were not looking good, but I was determined not to give up. And despite me pulling out every bowling trick I had in the book, the underarm, the no look behind the back underarm, the under leg, and finally the reverse couch cowgirl underarm. <laughs> Why did I say cowgirl? It has been an hour and I haven't managed to win a single game of bowling. If I can't beat it this time, I might just have to call the whole challenge because it's almost, it's almost 3 a.m. I will say one thing, I've gotten a little better at both. I literally came second to last. Look at that guy, he's very sad. He's actually me from three seconds ago. I just stood up and moved here because I realized it would be a cool shot. Uh, I've decided, he's decided to try one more time. Secretly, he's actually kind of hoping he doesn't win at this point because the battery and the microphone and both cameras and that light is probably gonna die any time now. And if he gets through this, he's gonna have to reset everything in the room. So this is truly the last attempt. With everything on the line and this being the final attempt of the night, I decided to forget everything I knew about Nintendo Switch bowling and just play with my heart. It just like, sometimes you get in your head. This was easily the best shot I had had at winning all night. The players in the lobby weren't good. In fact, at one point, half of them just left and I got through to the semifinals by default. But with everything in my favor, I 
just was so done with bowling. <laughs> and I, I just kept making dumb mistakes. And now I'm, and now I'm just messing up. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't beat bowling. That camera just died too. I want to point out, I beat Elden Ring and I beat the boss's first try at the end, but I can't beat bowling. Which just goes to show, bowling in Nintendo Switch Sports is harder than Elden Ring. I officially give up. I, w I was just defeated. <laughs> You know, when you started this video, you probably thought I was going to do it. And when I had the idea, I assumed it would be a fun joke, kind of a meme on, you know, it's not actually Elden Ring. You know, how, how hard can it be to win one of every minigame in Nintendo Switch Sports? But I couldn't do it. I mean, I probably can, right? Like, if I just keep playing bowling... But how many times am I going to try with everything set up to beat Bolt? Like, I tried for hours. One day, at some point, maybe on a Twitch stream, I want to try this challenge again. But I think uh, there's some message, some moment we can take away from failure and how you don't always get something right the first try, right? Can I make it sappy at the end to kind of tie a bow on this? I will say that the game itself is a ton of fun. I don't think it's worth the price tag, as I said earlier. It should have been free with the Switch. All right, that's my video on me failing at no death running Nintendo Switch sports. If you don't mind me, I'm going to go back to something much easier and I'm going to play Elden Ring.